This is McCook's Mr. Bill. It is an honor to have you here. Inflation. The story is that it bites us all financially because our wages aren't going up accordingly. A great example is a pot pie. I like it for a dinner. It's lightweight, but they were running a, at a dollar each. Now they're a dollar fifty each. I said a dollar and fifty locally to buy. That's a fifty cent increase or a fifty percent increase of what it did cost. But that does not mean that you can't turn around and make your own inflation when people want something that is very limited out there or you can't get it at all. You can't get it at all. A great example is going to a flower shop and paying maybe twenty to thirty dollars for a plant. You know, be it either at a wedding, funerals, different things that people want plants. And you can grow your own. You take the sliver, you cut it off. This is one year old. This is taking a year to grow this. But I have nothing in it. And yet it's equal to most of those $30 plants that you see in the stores. One way to save money and beat inflation, of course, is to do it yourself and grow it yourself. And think outside the box. A friend of mine, one of the best fishermen I personally know, he was over here at Trenton Lake on the lakeside there at the dam, and he was catching fish left and right. And a guy, oh, maybe 50 feet down from him, fishing all along the rocks with him, came walking over and he said, what's your secret? And he told him that he was catching them using this product, and it's kind of a marshmallow, squeezy, squ uh, punchy type thing, you know. And he said, that's what they're biting on. Okay. He said, uh, here, and he gave the guy two of them just to try out. He gave him two. The guy promptly caught two nice sized fish. And here he came. He said, I'd like some more of those. He said, I'll buy them from you. The guy said, okay. My friend said, okay. And so he turned around. He said, I'll give you 10 for a $5 bill. He got 10 of them for a $5 bill. And the guy went over there and promptly caught 10, maybe 15 fish, because not always did they lose the bait. They could reuse it, but about 15. He came back over. He came back over and he said, can I buy another 10 of those? So he sold him $10 worth of uh, the bait, two fives, $10 bill, and he got 20 of them when there's 100 in the jar. And the whole jar at the store cost $5. That $10 is going to buy my friend two more jars of these. Two more jars of these. That's inflation on, that's going to help him, or it could help you. Keep it in mind. My wife is, owns guns. I, I have no firearms, but she likes them. So she has a 22 250 that she's had forever. And uh, so back in the day, uh, when she got it roughly 30 years ago, uh, I bought 10 boxes of ammunition. And I write down on when I bought them and how much I paid. And this, uh, I paid $9.99 for a box of 22 250s. That's basically 30 years old. And I bought it uh, with the mindset, I'll just have that and it'll be stockpiled. And if she really gets into shooting it, which she never did, it was just too loud. But we have the ammunition for the gun. You have ammunition gun that you could sell. Maybe it'd be worth more. Who knows? With that in mind, though, when ammunition got scarce and the price started skyrocketing, even if you could get it, and most of the time you couldn't get it at any price, I said, it's time to sell. It's time to sell. And so we took nine boxes of the 10 I had, and I just uh, put some feelers out a couple of places saying, hey, you know, I do have some 22 250 ammunition, I'd, I'd gladly tell you. Understanding though, and I've written it on each box, that it's, you know, 30 years old and what I originally paid for it. But I said, if you want it, if you really want it, I'll sell it for $70 bill. $70 a box. And that's what they did. They were gladly paying for 30-year-old ammunition and paying $70 a box for ammunition. Yeah, yeah. And, of course, I knew, as all things that skyrocket come back down, they have for the most part. And so if I wanted to replenish that, I could a lot cheaper and pocket the difference. That's my inflation. Because when everybody is buying 
think hard about selling what you have because down the road the price will more than likely come down and then you can replenish with new rather than the old that you had and have some extra cash in your pocket. Thank you for your time.